Hello and welcome to the section of Calculus Extra Help with Integration. Here we're going to work a few extra problems just to give you that practice and give you that sort of confidence as you work integration problems in calculus. And we'll also do some definite integrals in this section as well. But first, let's go ahead and start with an integral that looks like this. 3x squared, x cubed plus 1, all raised to the 1 half power, uh, actually to the 12th power, that's what I'm trying to do here to the 12th power, uh, dx. All right, so again, we want to try to find a substitution. So you start looking around, and as we've seen a lot, we try to first look and see things that are wrapped up raised to powers or inside of square roots. We'll try that. If we set this equal to u, then the derivative of this will be 3x squared. And looky here, that's what we have out front. So you start to see these patterns. Um, after a while. That's probably the right answer for the substitution. u is equal to x cubed plus 1. So then du dx is 3x squared. And then dx is equal to 1 over 3x squared du. So that is our uh, information we need to go ahead and substitute in. So let's see what happens. We have the integral of 3x squared. This resolves to u to the 12th power, because this is what we define to be uh, equal to u. And then for dx, we have this guy, 1 over 3x squared du. So it's certainly looking good. 3x squared cancels with 3x squared. And so finally, we have the integral of u to the 12th power plus, I should say, not plus times du, or integrated over du. So this is very simple. It's just a simple polynomial. So it's 1 over the exponent plus 1, which is 13, u to the exponent plus 1, which is 13, plus a constant. So 1 over 13, u we've defined to be x cubed plus 1. So open the parentheses, uh, and we'll say that's x cubed plus 1 to the 13th power plus a constant. And this is the answer. 1 over 13, x cubed plus 1 to the 13th power plus a constant. So you see, these problems, to be honest with you, they're not really any harder. They're not uh, suddenly, you know, these graduate level substitution problems that you can't do. They're just giving you practicing different ways in which the integrals are arranged to give you practice. So let's finally do one with some limits. So let's say this is an integral of from minus 1 to 3 of sine of pi x dx. And again, you might be tempted just to write the answer down because you know what the integral of sine is. And that's true, you do know what the integral of sine of x is, but you don't know off the top of your head what sine of pi times x is. Because this is not sine of x, this is sine of pi times x. So you, you, you cannot just uh, write down the answer without doing a quick substitution. So let's make it, let's put it into a form that we know. So u will be pi times x, right? So then du dx, will just be equal to, take this derivative, we just get pi. So then dx will just equal 1 over pi du, just solving for dx. So when we stick all this stuff in here, hopefully we'll get an integral that we know how to solve. So negative 1 to 3 of sine of what? Sine of u. dx is equal to 1 over pi du. So everything's in terms of u and du, which is exactly what we want to see. This 1 over pi doesn't matter at all because it can come out of the integral. So what happens is we have 1 over pi. What is the integral of sine?